guys, it's Erica here for another Wildcat Workout today. Um, I hope that you're having a great week. We're so excited to start breaking down this room. I thought I would do one final video um, before they really delve into this um, and make any more messes in here. So one last video in our fitness center before it's renovations. We're gonna work today with a PVC pipe. You can use a broomstick or a Swiffer pole or anything that you, any free, free moving pole that you can find for these stretches. We start with a super wide grip. The wider your hands are, the easier this should feel. The closer together you bring them, the harder it's going to be. So find something that feels like a good stretch. We're just gonna reach back behind us, arms stay nice and straight, and come all the way back down each time. If you feel like you can go further back behind you, go ahead, all the way back if you'd like, but every time we're coming all the way back to the front, settling in the front. Good. Think about bringing those shoulders all the way up into your ears and all the way down. Give me about two more of those pass-throughs, just like that. All the way as far back as you can reach and back down. Beautiful. Let's bring that PVC to our backs. We're just going to do some twists. Get that core moving a little bit as long as that feels okay on your low back. Good. Little twists here. Try to use that pole to push you a little further than maybe you'd go without it. Feet stay planted. If your heel comes up a little bit, that's fine. If you kind of pivot it off of that side foot, not a big deal. Good deal. We're gonna hit some good morning, so just hold that PVC wherever it's comfortable. I honestly just rest my hands here. We don't want it up on our head or neck. Keep it right on top of your shoulder blades. We're just gonna push the hips back. Legs stay mostly straight and stand all the way up. Hips go back and forth, nice and slowly. We wanna feel this in the backs of the legs. You don't wanna round the back and bring your head down. Keep those shoulders rolled back so your spine stays straight. Back and forth. Beautiful, good work, good work. Let's split those feet super wide. We're gonna add a little twist if that feels okay for these last few good mornings. Once again, the hips go back and forth, but if you can at the bottom, we'll twist to push the left hand down, twist to push the right hand down, and then come all the way up. So if you wanna add that little twist, if you've been in classes before, you've probably done these with me. Super good stretch here. If the twist doesn't feel good, just do a regular good morning in this wide stance. Give me one more. Beautiful, good work, good work. Let's bring that PVC straight up and down out in front of us. If you're on a wood floor, make sure that it's really straight up and down, that you're not leaning, because it will slide if you're on a slippery floor. One hand on top, just a little bit of space in between, maybe six to eight inches. And we're just gonna push that head down and through. I like to kind of wiggle the pole left to right. Both arms are super straight, and the hand that's on top is the side where you should feel this more intensely. So we'll switch. I'm switching to have my left hand on top this time. So all down the left side of my body and the, the lats, making space in between the ribs there, all on the left side. Little wiggles. Good deal, good deal. Excellent work. We're gonna set that off to the side and hit our legs just a little bit more. Let's go ahead and come down into a squat. Hit the bottom of your squat and hold it for three, two, and one. Good, no matter how uh, low your squat is, find something that's comfortable. We're just pushing the hips back and then I'm gonna count for three, two, one, and then we're gonna stand all the way up. Whether you're dropping all the way to the bottom or to parallel or above that or just pushing the hips back so that you can feel that squeeze, wherever that is, that's fine. We're gonna do four more just like that. Sink to the bottom of your squat. Three, two, one, and stand all the way up. Three more, down, hold it for three, two, and one. Good, two more just like that. Down, three, two, and one, one last squat with a hold. Hold it this time for four, three, two, and one. Good work, good work. Let's bring that right foot in front of us, heel down, toes up. Windshield wiper in those toes and lean over that foot as much as you would like. As I always say, as much or as little as you would like. Just to feel a good stretch in the back of the legs. Good deal, other foot. Left foot, uh, heel down, toes up. And again, little wiggles of that ankle. Toes going back and forth. Excellent. Let's have a little standing toe, sorry, heel taps out in front of us, kind of like a standing pigeon. If you can reach for the bottom of that heel, go ahead. If you can just touch the top, that's perfect. Whatever feels like a good stretch, we want to drop the knee. We want to feel a stretch in our hip flexor, 
on the inside part of that leg. Good. Same deal. We're still tapping heels, but let's go back behind us this time. Reaching back behind you. A little twist here in the back. Good deal, good deal. Everything feeling good and warmed up, I hope. So we'll go ahead and jump in. This first little segment today is our Tabata class. It is our Tabata um, times class. So everything will be timed, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We'll go back and forth between these. You'll have five rounds of each for most of them. So the first one's kind of a continuation of the warm up. We're gonna hit butt kicks with a wide stance. So you're really stepping out. So you should have a pretty wide stance. Find somewhere that your feet should hit. And then the next move is going to be those clamshell openers. Stand however you're comfortable. Keep the elbows up nice and high, open, and close. Really reaching the elbows back and closing. So we'll go between those two for 20 seconds each. We'll start with the wide stance back kick. So start with that wide stance in five. It's just 20 seconds. You can do 20 seconds of anything. Come on, three, two, and one. Nice and slow. Good. Try to point that toe up behind you. You can tell my right side doesn't go as far right now. Just trying to kick that toe up, heel up to your booty. We have about five more seconds here. Three, two, and one. 10 second rest, then we'll hit those clamshell openers. Those will start in five, three, two, and one. Elbows nice and high, squeeze the shoulder blades in the back, pull them apart when you come to the front. Back and forth, good, on your own. This is not super fast. We're not trying to do as many rounds as, or as many reps as we can. We're just trying to get those shoulders warmed up. Three, two, and one. Good. Rest those arms with the legs again. Wide stance butt kick starting in five. Three, two, and one. Good. Kick your heels up towards your booty. Good, nice quick feet. Let's start getting that heart rate up just a little bit on this one. Five, three, two, and one. Rest, we'll go back to the clamshell openers next. This is just a warm up one, so we're only gonna do two rounds of this one. Clamshell openers in three, two, and one. Opening and closing, opening and closing. Last little bit here, then we'll get started in on the actual meat of our program today. Give me a couple more. Really exaggerate those elbows. Push back, back, back. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Bring them back together. Three, two, and rest. Good job. Good job. Anything else that needs to get stretched out, now's the time. If you have dumbbells, could be heavy, could be light, could be whatever. Um, if you have some, some dumbbell options, that would be great to go get um, or anything that you want to use as your weights today. So I'll give you just a few minutes to do that. Feel free to pause the video if you need to. Otherwise, we'll get started here in just a second. All right, welcome back everybody. We're gonna go through two movements. This one will be five full rounds. Again, we're getting into the actual hard work here. The first move is gonna be a sumo deadlift. Kind of like those good mornings. You wanna keep those shoulders rolled back nice and tight. Don't round the back or let the head look down to the chest or chin drop down to the chest. We're gonna keep everything moved back nice and tight. We're gonna push the hips back and we're just gonna keep those weights super close standing all the way up. It's a sumo stance, so you'll notice my feet are wider than normal like a sumo wrestler. The knees stay mostly straight and I'm just keeping my gaze where I'm looking. I'm just kind of looking wherever my neck leads me to look, not turning my head any direction at any time. Just keep it nice and neutral, right down in between your feet all the way back up. If you tap the ground, that's great. If you don't tap the ground, that's great. Just as far back as you can, pushing the hips back and standing all the way up. Sumo deadlifts, then we'll do a strict upright row. So there's no hips involved here, no using your lower body. It's just upper body. Pull those weights up to your chin. Pull those weights up to your chin. We want the elbows to come up high. Lead with your elbows, pull nice and high on that. So we'll start with those sumo deadlift high pulls in about three seconds if you're ready. Sumo stance and let's go. Hips go back and forth, back and forth. Good, make sure you're not reaching out in front of you 
or cocking your head weird to look at the camera. Just look straight down at the ground when you go into the bottom of this deadlift. Three, two, and one. Keep a hold on those weights. You can bring your feet closer together if that feels more comfortable. We'll go with the high pulls in three, two, and one. Good, elbows up high, shoulders into your ears. This is for those traps up here. Just wanna pull up. Good, don't hit yourself in the chin, but bring it up close to your chin. Definitely done that before. Be careful not to do that. All the way up, all the way down. Three, two, and one. Good, Super sumo stance again, wide stance. Starting in five, three, two, back to the deadlifts. Let's go. Good, you're moving at your own pace on these. So really, especially on these deadlifts, don't try to watch how fast I'm going. You should be going faster. Just keep moving through it. Squeeze that booty stand up tall at the top. Push the hips forward, two, and one. Quick little rest. You're doing great. Back to those high pulls. Set your feet however they feel comfortable in three, two, and one. Good, strict high pulls. Elbows up. Past halfway, come on, for this round. Three, two, and rest. Good, we'll go back to the deadlifts. This will be our third set of these. Five seconds, wide stance again, toes pointing out, big sumo rest of the light. Two, and go. Good, I wanna feel this in the backs of our legs. If you feel it in your low back, don't go as low, and keep those weights right in between your feet. We want to feel it in the booty and in the hamstrings. Three, two, and one. Good. Whew. High pulls will be next. We'll start those in three. Feet are wherever they're comfortable. Two, and one. Up. Good work. Passing halfway, get those shoulders up, elbows lead, up, three, two, and one. Good, we'll go back to the deadlifts. Two rounds left, you're doing great work so far. We'll start with that sumo stance, get back there, two, and one, good. Good, really focus on those lower legs, push the hips back, reaching back, and then pushing them forward all the way. Nice and tall, exaggerate it. Three, two, and one. Good, high pulls will be next. Whew. Starting in five seconds. Feet are wherever they're comfortable. Last minute and a half of this round, then we'll take a little rest. Let's go. Up. Good job, good job. Elbows up, elbows up. Come on, just as high as you can. Give me a couple more. Five, three, two, and one. Good work, one more set. Get back in that sumo stance. Last round here. This is our last sumo stance for the day, too. Two, and one. Weights right in between your feet. Good, make sure that those feet are far apart. Hips are traveling, reaching back as you go down and pushing forward into the weights as you stand up. Five, three, two, and one. We have one more set of those um, high pulls. I just forgot the name. High pulls, rows, upright rows. Three, two, and one. Good. Good. If you can hear me breathing, I'm exhaling. When I do the work, incorporate that for today's practice as well. Come on, last few seconds. Five, three, two, and rest. Excellent work, excellent work. Set those weights all the way down. Pause the video for a few minutes. Go get as long as you need to, a few minutes, a few seconds. Grab some water and then press play when you're ready for the next section. All right, everybody, we are back at it. Um, you may use 
the weights on this one or not. It's up to you. So this is going to be a challenging movement. You're welcome to stand and hold on to something or don't sink to the bottom of the lunge. Um, for the full movement, if it feels okay on your knees, we're going to go down to the bottom of our lunge and we're going to pulse for 20 seconds. So we'll do 20 seconds on one side, 20 on the other, 20 on the other, 20 on the other. So we'll end up doing 40 seconds on each. It's not easy. So if at any point your knees are bothering you, take a good big step back and just barely bend that back knee and stand all the way up. We wanna to try to feel it in that front quad. Um, you'll feel it in the back a little bit as well, but that's the key target point there. So we'll go down, lunge, pulse, 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 staying in whatever is the bottom, the lowest point for your lunge. Okay, so we'll hit that movement. The other move you will want weights for, it's gonna be a reverse curl. Palms facing towards your body, curling up, and down. Notice that the elbows don't really move. They're staying nice and tucked in close to my body. I'm not waving them out or anything crazy. We're just lifting the weights to our shoulders straight back down. So we'll start with those lunge pulses. I'm honestly not going to do any weight. They are pretty challenging, but it is up to you. You can hold them on your, on your shoulders, hold them down by your sides, but we're going to start with the left leg back in five, three, two, and one, again, big step back and we're just pulsing wherever the bottom of your lunge is. You'll start to feel it, like I said, in that front and the right quads, as low as you can go. So if you feel better, just tap on the ground all the way down, if that feels okay, please proceed. Don't push off of that knee, keep your hands off your knee. Three, two, one. I babbled us straight through the whole thing. You didn't even notice you were doing work, did you? Let's grab those weights. We're gonna hit those reverse curls next. Three two, and one, all the way up, all the way down. Good, at your own pace. So if you wanna go super fast, if you have light weights today, maybe try to do more reps. If you have heavy weights, don't worry about trying to do it too many reps. Keep going, three, two, and one. Excellent, we'll go back to the lunge pulses. This time the right leg will step back. We'll start that in five, three, two, and one, good. Again, wherever that knee feels comfortable, however much bend you can get in that back knee is totally fine. Big step back. We're gonna start to feel it in that front quadriceps. Good job, good job. Keep it up, come on. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Excellent, let's grab those dumbbells again and hit the reverse curls. Starting in five, three, two, and one, good, elbows nice and close, feet are however they are comfortable, trying to get as much motion or as full range of motion as you can, reaching back by your sides, all the way up to the shoulders if you're able. Good work, five more seconds. Three, two, and one, excellent. We have one more round of each leg, so it's really like four more rounds of everything. Left leg goes back in three, two, and one, pulsing. Nice and strong, think strong thoughts, come on. Power through this. These are not easy, you're doing great. We're almost done with this leg now. Keep it up for five, three, two, and one. Good, all the way up, grab those dumbbells for our reverse curls. Oh, five seconds, three, two, and one. Almost there now. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Good, get rid of those dumbbells for just the last little 30 seconds on this leg, 20 seconds really. Right leg's gonna step back in three, Two, and one, pulsing. Go ahead, find the bottom of your lunge, work those legs. 10 more seconds, almost there, almost done with these terrible lunge pulses. They're so good for your legs though. Three, two, and one, good. One more set of the reverse curls. Just 20 seconds of work left, then we'll get a little rest here. Starting in three, two, and one, all the way up, all the way down.
Again, your tempo will probably depend a bit on your weights. If you have really light weights, try to move through it kind of quickly. Last little bit, last few of these. Three, two, and one. Excellent work, excellent work. Set that down, take a little pause for a few minutes as long as you need to, grab some water, and then we'll come right back. All right, we're gonna get started in our next section for our Tabata Times workout. Again, you're welcome to use these weights or not. This is gonna practice with that balance a little bit. So if you need a countertop or chair or something nearby that you can grab, feel free to scooch that in. So pause at any time and grab what you need. Um, I will probably use a weight. We're gonna use one weight only throughout all of these if you're gonna use a weight for this first one. First move is gonna be a standing crunch with that overhead press. I love this movement, but you really gotta make sure we fully extend and we fully crunch, fully extend all the way out, super open and fully crunch. So you wanna get as much of that range of motion in as possible. Crunch as close as you can, spread out as far as you can, reaching up to the sky and foot comes all the way down. So we'll do two rounds on the left, two rounds on the right. In between those movements, we'll be hitting some tricep extensions. So if you have something heavier, I know a lot of you guys are doing a great job with these and your triceps feel good and strong, you can do a little bit more weight on these feel free to grab something else. I like to hold the heads and then I push it all the way up, all the way down. Elbows stay pretty much where they are. We're not moving the elbows or swinging the whole arm or anything dangerous. Elbows stay right by the side of my head. I'm just extending up and down. So those will be our two movements. You really don't need that second dumbbell at all. If for the standing crunches, you wanna make that balance your key priority right now, Feel free, it's a challenge. You're basically up on that one foot. We don't wanna shift our weight all the way into the other foot. Just kinda of tap the ground and back at it. So try to move through that one, focusing on the balance if that sounds like a better idea to you. We'll start these standing crunches with or without a weight in five seconds. Three, two, and one. Crunch, trying to get that elbow on the outside of that knee. If that's not possible, that's okay. You just want a good crunch as far as you can go. 10 more seconds. Again, exhale when you do the work. Two and one. Good. Rest and then we'll hit those tricep extensions. Now that we feel really uneven and wonky, we'll go with tricep extensions at three, two, and one. All the way down. All the way up, shake your head no, nod your head yes. Make sure you're not holding your neck really super funny and stiff. Keep it loose. 10 more seconds. Five, three, two, and one. Excellent. Other hand for those standing crunches. We'll start at five, three, two, and one, good, opposite knee comes up. Don't try to do it with your same knee, never works out well. Make sure if your right hand's in the air, your left knee is crunching up. Keep going. And time, good job, good job. With those tricep extensions again, starting in five, three, two, and one, good work, come on. You're doing great, come on, keep going, keep going. Five, again, nice loose neck, two, and one, excellent. Little rest, we'll go back to that original arm for the crunches starting in five, three, two, and one, crunch. Good. Almost there. Press all the way up overhead, come on. Three, two, and one. Excellent, tricep extensions will be next. We'll start those in about five seconds. Three, two, and one, all the way down, all the way up. Same thing, even though it may not feel like as hard of work, it's helpful to get that breath cycled correctly. Exhale, when you push it up. When you extend overhead, you wanna breathe out. Three, two, 
one, good. Last side on this other side of our standing crunches. For standing crunches, this will be our last time. In two, and one, up overhead, crunching across. Come on, work that core, work that stability, that balance. As fast or as slow as you need to go today. Listen to your body. Three, two, and one. Good, one more set of tricep extensions. We're almost there. It's the last little bit. Give me 20 seconds hard work, starting in three, two, and one. All the way down, all the way up. Come on. Nice, loose neck. Stay nice and tall. Don't let that back arch. Keep your hips tucked. Five, three, two, and one. Great work on that set. Put that weight down, roll out the shoulders a bit, take a little rest, pause as needed, grab yourself some water, and then we'll meet back here in a few. All right, welcome back everybody. We're gonna be down on the mat for this next segment. So two movements, once again, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. This one we're gonna go through for five rounds because it's the same. Oh, I think I lied to you. I am gonna give an option to do an isometric and one-sided. Um, so actually we will go through and just do four rounds like we had done with a lot of these. Uh, you don't really need any weights for this. We have two standard great movements. First one's gonna be dead bug. You'll hold those knees straight up above your hips. Feet are out on a nice 90 degree angle. Hands start straight out in front of us above your shoulders. Opposite hand and leg, this is a mental workout. Opposite hand and leg drop to the ground and then they pick back up to the center. So if my right hand drops, my left leg should drop. And when my left hand drops, my right leg should drop. The others just stay put right where they are. If you have a med ball or something with some weight that you wanna hold in between those hand and, the in between that hand and knee, feel free to add that weight. It's not necessary though. I'm not gonna do it with any weight. So we'll do that for 20 seconds. Then we'll flip over into a plank you can either do a full plank, you can have knees down, you can be on forearms. If you want a super challenge, try a side plank. It's only 20 seconds, so if you can do that, or you can keep a knee down even, um, on the side plank will still be a challenge. So if you want to try to do one-sided, then feel free to do that. I'm gonna go with side planks. I'm trying to anyways. Um, they are challenging, so if you wanna give it a try on the first one, see how it feels, great. If it doesn't work out, come into that side, into that front normal standard plank, okay? So again, 20 seconds of each. We'll start with the dead bugs in about 15 seconds. So hands straight out from your shoulders, laying all the way down, knees are above your hips. We'll start this in five seconds. Opposite hand and foot start to drop in three, two, and one. Give me 20 seconds here, good. Keeping the other knee and hand that aren't dropping to the ground, keeping them still. I think that's the hardest part for people. Opposite, check yourself, make sure you're doing opposite hand and foot. Three, two, and one, good. We'll roll either onto our side or forward so that we can get into that plank in five, three, two, one. Just like with the front standard plank, you can be on your forearm, you can be up on your hand, whatever feels more comfortable, on your fist, Notice I said more comfortable, not super comfortable, because none of this is super comfortable. Almost there, come on. Three, two, and one. Good job, good job. Little rest, we'll go back to those dead bugs in five seconds. Hands up, knees up. Three, two, and one. Opposite hand and foot drop. Really reach them down all the way to the ground if your mobility will allow it. Keep going. Three, two, and one. Rolling over for that side plank or forward plank. We'll go to the other side this time, if you're doing the side. Three, two, and one. Give me 20 seconds here. Keep those hips up nice and high. Even if your knee's down, we want those hips to stay up. 10 more seconds. Five, almost there. Three, two, 
and one. Good job, good job. Dead bugs once again, lying all the way down. We'll start those in five, three, two, and one. Opposite hand and foot, all the way down to the floor. Just tapping it. You don't want to like relax and get lazy. You want to hold it tight. Just tap the ground. Pick it back up. Come on. Five, three, two, and one. Excellent. We'll go back to that original side plank side. Whew. Halfway through. Past halfway. We started with dead bugs. Three, two, and one. Side plank or forward plank. These are our last two of these planks. Keep breathing. Five more seconds. Hold it up. Come on. Strong thoughts. Three, two, and one. Excellent. We'll hit those dead bugs once again. Then we'll do our final play. Three seconds and we've got dead bugs. Two, and one. Dropping the opposite hand and foot. Keep at it. Come on. Five, three, two, and one. We have one last side plank. You're almost done. Give me 20 seconds of a solid hold here, starting in three, two, and one. You got this. Come on. Stay up. Stay up. 10 seconds. This one feels long, doesn't it? It's the last one. That's why. Stay up. Five. Hold it for three, two, and one. Good work, everybody. Take a quick little rest. We have one more section that we'll be standing for. Um, you'll want light dumbbells if you have lighter or do it without any weight, but we'll be up standing for the next section. Pause. Take a moment to pause. Grab some water, and I'll meet you back up standing in a few. All right, guys. Welcome back. We're gonna go ahead, go ahead and get started on our final segment. We are gonna hit some air squats. I would recommend not doing any weight. Honestly, I don't want these to be quick. So try to find something nice and quick. If you want to sit back into a seat, I don't know if you can see this over here, but if you have something you can reach back and sit down onto and stand up, it, the higher it is, the easier that'll be on your knees. So if your knees bother you, sit down to a shelf, so a shelf, a bench, a chair, chair would probably be better than a shelf. Uh, a bench, a chair, anything that you can just reach back. You don't want to stand right next to it. So if you can see this rower, I'm not keeping my heels right up against it. You want to be out a little bit. When we sit for that squat, we want to reach the hips back. So if you're just dropping straight down and your knees are coming in front of your toes, you're going to have even more pressure on those knees. So let's avoid that. Step out in front. Imagine reaching back for something to sit down onto and standing all the way up. Just like with that warm up earlier, you go as low as you want to. If you want to go all the way down, go all the way down. If you just want to pop the hips back and squeeze the booty, you're going to get the same amount of work, a similar amount of work. So find what works for you and for your knees. Listen to your body. All right, so we have squats. And then the next one's going to be a lat raise to a front raise or a front raise to a lat raise. We're going to go back and forth in directions. You're welcome to use weight. I'm probably not going to. So for this one, especially if all you have are kind of heavy weights, don't worry about the weight. So this is where we're going to, for the first round, we'll go lat raise straight out, and then we'll bring it around to the front all the way back down. Out to the side, bring it to the front. For the next round, I'll call it out. We'll probably do a front raise out to the side, a front raise out to the side. So we'll switch that up a bit. Otherwise, it's air squats. I'm probably not going to use weight on any of those, but you do whatever your body needs. If you need a super challenge, go get you some heavy weights and get ready for those raises, front raises and lat raises, all right? We'll start with the squats. We'll start in 12 seconds with just plain solid air squats. And these should be pretty quick. There's no weight involved. Five, find the bottom of your squat or sit back to that bench. Two and one, squats. Good. Keep the knees tracking out. You'll notice I exaggerate that. My knees go way out. We don't want them caving in at all. That's a bad sign too. That puts a lot of pressure on those knees. So push those knees out. Last few. Three, two, 
and one, excellent. This will be the lap to the front. So we'll go out to the side first, starting in five, three, two, and one. All the way so your arms are parallel, all the way out in front, good. Out to the side, move them around to the front, up and around. Good work, everybody. You're doing great. Keep it up. Three, two, and one. Good, good, good. Air squats again. We'll start those in three, two, and one. You'll see I also use my arms just to kind of help me feel balanced. We don't want to rock back and forth a lot. You want most of the weight feeling like it's in your heels, but we want to keep our whole foot on the ground. So to keep myself from rocking back when I push my hips back, I just throw those hands out in front, kind of helps me balance my body weight. So whatever feels best for you, some people just hold them there. I think I babbled all the way through. We're resting now. You did like three extra seconds, good work. We're gonna go front to lat this time in two and one. Front, out to the side. I could talk all day about squats. Sorry for the distraction. It was only like three seconds, okay? You did great. You powered through it. We're almost there. Reaching out in the front. Good straight arms the whole time. Working those shoulders and rest. Good. We'll go back to those squats. We're halfway through this segment. Again, hips going back and forth. Three, two, and one. Down as low as you can. But the most important, more important than going down is reaching back and standing up tall. Good, squeeze that booty. Three, two, and one. Good, we're gonna go back to the lat to the front. So we'll go out to the side first this round in five, three, two, and one. Let's breathe out as we lift. Almost there, almost there. Come on, three, and one, excellent. One more set of each one of these, back to the squats, super duper fast this time, quick as you can. Hips go back, squeeze, back and squeeze. We'll start in two, and one, let's go. Just like with those deadlifts, you wanna exaggerate the hips going back, and forth, back and forth. Good. Stand up tall, straighten the leg fully on the top. Two and one. Excellent. Front to the side this time. Last set of these. Whew. Starting in three, two, and one. Up, out to the side. Good. Really work those shoulders. You want to feel those shoulder blades moving together as you reach those hands out to the side. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. Excellent job. Good work, good work. Grab some water if you need it. That was our last major section, so we'll come down to the mat to stretch whenever you're ready, but feel free to pause the video now if you wanna go grab some water. All right, all right. Welcome back, everyone. We're gonna come on down to the mat. We'll get onto all fours. Let's just get some of those cat cows to start with. So nice big breath in. Think about a tail that, tuck, that uh, reaches up towards the sky. And then we'll tuck that tail in, under and between our legs, and back and forth on your own, arching your back and rounding your back. Arching and rounding. Good big breaths. Fully emptying the lungs each time you exhale, and filling them all the way when you inhale. Beautiful. Back to that neutral spine. We're just going to bring our left foot forward into a big lunge. If you don't like the way that this feels on that back knee or on anything, you are welcome to do this on a chair or a bench. So if you would just imagine that this is a chair, bring your foot up on top of it and just kind of use that. A lower one would probably be best here. Um, so all we're going to do is try to step that back leg back pretty far. We're going to stay nice and upright with it. We're just going to kind of pulse those hips down. Should feel this in the back quadriceps of the back leg more than anything. 
Beautiful. We're going to scooch that front heel back just a little bit. And I want one hand on either side. I want you to try to just rest your body weight down on that uh, knee, on your uh, quadriceps, on your thigh. And we're just going to kind of go back and forth, back and forth, stretching. If going left to right feels good, kind of rocking from the outside to the inside of that foot. In the front, go ahead. Rocking, rocking. This is more for the calves and that front foot. Excellent. Let's go ahead and switch feet. Other foot in front. Same thing, up nice and tall to start with. Pushing those hips forward and down, just little pulses. Take your time, they don't need to be fast. Push as far forward as you can. Come back to neutral. Good, again, we'll scooch that front heel forward a bit. One hand on either side, and we'll just rock kind of back and forth, forward to back and side to side a little bit, keeping the whole foot on the ground, but just kind of shifting that weight around, working the ankle. Beautiful. When you're ready, we'll come all the way down to seated. Let's start with that zigzag, uh, zigzag placement of the legs. Push both seat bones down. Let's grab that knee in front that's not touching any, not touching a foot. So we'll grab that knee first in front with the opposite hand, and we'll just kind of twist away from it. Not so much that your back hip comes off. Try to keep it down. Nice big twist for the low back here, and you'll feel that in your legs as well. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and flip flop those legs. Again, we're just going to grab the front knee that's not touching anything. Good big twist. Excellent. We'll send both legs straight out in front of us. Let's just get a good classic forward fold for that low back. Just rounding our back. Shoulders round two. Everything just hangs out nice and heavy over those legs. As low as you can go. You don't have to reach out for the toes or anything crazy. We're just hanging out. Stretching that low back. And slowly on your next inhale, we'll slowly, slowly, slowly come back up to seated. Beautiful. Have your legs however they're comfortable. Let's bring that left arm across our body. Hug it into the chest. And that same left arm comes back behind us. Pulling that elbow if that feels okay. Good. And again, we'll hug the other arm. This time the right arm gets hugged into the chest. And then reach it on back behind. Pulling gently on that elbow if that feels good. Excellent. One more time. Let's hug the left side. Hug the right side. Excellent. Excellent. Good deal. Again, legs however they're comfortable. I prefer for this one to uh, sit crisscross applesauce. We're going to do some reach overs. So one hand, I'm going to put my right hand down. My left hand is coming not out in front of me, but up over my head. Shoulder into the ear. We're just going to lean. We're trying to make a long line from the hip all the way to the edge of the fingertips. So my left hip to my left fingers, I'm trying to make a bunch of space in between those, and then we'll switch. Same thing the other side. Good. Excellent, we'll go back to that original side, reaching up overhead, keep that shoulder in your ear. Don't let your shoulders turn down, they should be parallel to a wall out in front of you. Other side, last time. Beautiful. Good work. Y'all did super great today. Thank you for joining. I'm going to see you all in the fitness center, but hopefully this helps keep you, keep you moving during our renovations that we are so looking forward to showing off. So have a wonderful day. Call the fitness center. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything I can help with. Thanks.